Hey everybody, it's now with Patriot Golf USA, your East Texas golf guy and your game improvement specialist. Um, I wanted to show you what I was working on right now. This is going to be another repair. Um, it's getting to be a pretty common theme here where people are coming in and, and have concerns about ferrule creep. You know, that, that's where the ferrule starts separating itself from the head and starts moving up the shaft. Um, something that looks like that. And this is real common in a lot of OEMs. OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, really don't prep any further than the hosel. So the, the plastic um, ferrule has got nothing to bond to. So they have just a little bit of epoxy down here at the bottom. But in time, every single ferrule um, really does start creeping up. Most of the time, it's just a cosmetic thing. You know, it doesn't cause any issues with playability. It's just the fact that this is moving because it wasn't prepped properly. I had a customer come in that had all that, but we were able to twist and literally pull the head off. So this particular one wasn't feral creep where the, the feral was moving up. The head literally was coming off, um, which is pretty scary because you don't know where this is going to end up. It could end up gone or it could end up in the back of someone's head. It's, it's, a, it's a very serious thing that people need to consider or look at when they see this. Now, this is another one where you can see it's pretty extensive. When I grab it and twist it, I can't twist it physically, but when I put it on the, on the uh, ruler and, and I measured everything else, this literally is pulled from here just like the other one. So this head is, is about ready to fly off as well. Um, it may take a few hits, but eventually it's going to go. So um, a, a lot of these have that, you know, sometimes it's pretty minor. It's just like this. And 90% of the time it really is, or even 95% of the time, it really is just this feral creeping up because of a bad um, build. But don't assume that it's the feral moving and not the head actually coming off because that, that, can, be, um, that can be a bad thing. A head flying off of a club never ends up well, period, ever. So if you guys are experiencing this, if you look at your clubs and you see that there is feral creep, come in and see me um, in Longview or Tyler. I'll give you an honest answer. I'm gonna tell you, yeah, it's just the feral coming up. A lot of times I can push it back down, you're good to go. But if we go through and we measure all these and we realize that these heads are actually moving, that's something that has to be addressed right away because uh, somebody could get hurt really badly when, when these things come flying off at however many miles an hour you swing. So um, that's what I'm working on now, guys. So I'm going to pull all of these apart. We're going to clean them up. We're going to pull the ferrules off. We're going to prep all the shafts to the very, very top, use epoxy. If this head doesn't come off, there's never a reason why we should get ferro creep. Ferro creep's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Um, I don't like seeing this right here because that's just uh, that's just someone being lazy, not prepping this properly. So that's what I'm going to get working on right now. Um, oh, and one other thing I was thinking of, a myth I'm going to put to bed right now. People will see this and they'll say, oh, I left my clubs in the trunk of a car and it got hot, so the epoxy got soft and it moved. I hear that all the time. The clubs got hot, so that's why this moved. Wrong answer. Epoxy's got to be, I think, close to 300 degrees before it starts breaking down. So I don't care if you lock these in the trunk of your car and it's 150 degrees in there. That's not direct pressure to make this come loose. So if, if you see this, it's not because of heat. It's not because of where you're storing your clubs. It's because the build was done improperly. Um, so I just wanted to put that myth to bed. There's a lot of myths out there, and that one is an absolute um, uh, not correct. <laughs> These don't move because of heat. They move because of uh, poor uh, craftsmanship. So anyway, come in and see me. Um, I'm in Tyler, 4815 Old Jacksonville Highway, and we've also got a location here in Longview, um, 414 West Loop 281, right next to Nippet Golf. Um, come in for any of your golf needs. I've got lessons going on, builds. It's springtime. Golf is coming up. If you're looking to get new clubs or if you're getting, looking to get lessons, come in and see me. Let's get it going right now so when the season really starts, you're ready and um, you're, you're, you're playing your best golf ever. So, all right, everybody have a blessed day and uh, God bless this great country. Take care. Bye.